The track community in Stockton is shocked tonight after 18-year-old Messiah Turner was shot in the head during a drive-by in Manteca. The student athlete is now in critical condition. So you where this happened. The shooting took place just before 11 o'clock Sunday night on Rosemary Court. CBS 13's Linda Muma talked with one of her track coaches who had to break the news to her former team. The whole family is praying, is praying for her right now. Amosi Rora is a coach at Big Valley Track Club in Stockton. Those are my kids, you know. He tells me he's known 18-year-old Messiah Turner for nearly half her life. They would stay over at my house on weekends if we have to go on a track meet. You know, yeah, she knows me like a dad. Turner spent four of those years as a mentor to the younger runners on the 92-member squad. For somebody to be chosen as a team captain, that that speaks volumes. CBS 13 interviewed Turner just last year about her experience on the team. I've been through a lot, you know, and I made a lot of mistakes. So me coming here, it keeps me around positive energy. Rora says Turner was on the right track, studying criminal justice at Delta College with big dreams of helping people turn their lives around after incarceration. She was a good person. Now she is fighting for her life at San Joaquin General Hospital after Manteca police say she was shot in the head Sunday night while riding in the passenger seat of her friend's car. We pulled up alongside them as they were driving east on uh, Louise. That, uh, the fire out the window and shot at them. That car ended up here on Rosemary Court. The tarp now covers the door riddled with bullet holes. While police ask anyone with information about the shooting to come forward. We know it was a Hispanic male in the late teens, early 20s, possibly driving a gray or silver colored BMW. Turner's track family is holding out hope she recovers from her injuries. Especially with the, with the youth, with the girl with that caliber. Something really hard for these kids to digest. Linda, thank you. Police believe Turner was an unintended victim. Let's dig a little deeper on this type of crime, which is rare in Manteca. We wanted to know how many homicides were in Manteca last year. There you see the answers. Police tell us they didn't have any last year. In 2017, there were four, and in 2016, it was back to zero.